The start of a new Marble Rally season. It begins with a new track and a new bevy of competitors that were already screened through the qualifier process. There are some surprises in there who made the big tournament and some who were relegated. And look at the moisture on the fans right there. They are soaked, but they have to have that prime viewing position on that bridge above the course. There you see the weather, two out of five. It's rainy, it's a little cool, and there is a headwind down this 95 meter track, almost 312 feet in length. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. Welcome to this season. Well, here is the B League, if you will, the marbles that did not qualify for the main marble rally. There are 12 of them and no hold in the gate at all. We are off. Heading down, it is Marbley McMarbleface out in the lead there, but Marble's trying to find their footing. The early part of this course, I can imagine, is just getting to grips with the grip. How wet is this sand? How forgiving is it? Can you make it do what you want in your quest for a win? Green Turtle takes the lead. Cool Moody in third place. That's one of those marbles that has never not qualified for the big league until just now. Takes second place as I am mentioning it. Deep Ocean, Big Pearl, Wisp of Darkness, back in six, gets passed by El Capitan. The back half of this field is very slow. I think we've lost one. I think we had a marble come to a stop. Who was that? Was it H2 Blue? We're going to have to see. Maybe they got going again. I'm not sure. Cool Moody has taken the lead off screen. Oh, and maybe we do have everybody with us here. We'll have to wait and see once we get to the bottom of this course. The field very bunched, however, all in one frame right there. You can see leader to last place, all 12 of these marbles, if there are indeed 12. Quick count with me if you can. Green Turtle holding on in second place. A battle with Marbly McMarbleface, Deep Ocean. Couple of different lines here. Who's going to come out of it? It's tough to tell who's actually in the lead as Marbly McMarbleface and Green Turtle come together. There is that earthen tunnel off in the distance, and the bottom lane was marginally quicker. Green Turtle has taken the lead. Three quarters of the way down this course. You know that the marbles that are in the sand rally proper, they are watching this one, analyzing the moves, what works, what doesn't, what line is going to be better. They've got two to choose from right here, and we're seeing the top two take a different one. Oh, Cool Moody is struggling on the walls. El Capitan gets by. Summer Sky in fourth place. Marbly McMarbleface, Wisp of Darkness. Quite a few catching that speed boost back there. Quicksilver trying to get back in touch with Cobra in front. Many lengths between the two of them. Now we check back up front again. Cool Moody in second place. Oh, hard hit there with El Capitan. Now on the race down for the line, Green Turtle is going to come across and win the race over one and a half seconds clear of Cool Moody. That is the first win for Green Turtle in the Marble Rally discipline. This not coming in the big league. Had one season all the way back in 2016. Finished 19th back then. So everybody did finish. That momentary pause was not enough to stymie the progress of H2 Blue. 41 overtakes in the top six. Four lead changes. Here was one of them. Look at how close they are. Green Turtle is trying to catch a draft, but is it so effective when the sand is this wet? By the way, down in the bottom there, you can see on the scoring pylons, and in the results tables, making sure you know who is who. So this race coming later in the day, the sand conditions still not great. It has warmed up quite a bit, however. We're no longer in the 50s for Fahrenheit. We're almost touching 70. It's 21 Celsius. And here is, in the A-League, our starting lineup. Some very good marbles in this one as well. Some that were oh so close to being relegated. There were some very good marbles in the B League. They did not make it. Look at how wide they are as they filter down and begin the first race of the seventh season of the Marble Rally. Grasshopper was briefly out in front. No more. It is Blue Moon. 
Crazy Cat's Eye holding up a bit of a train that's starting to find their footing. Look at how wide they're running. Up against the walls there. They are really throwing it. I wonder if that 100% finishing rate in that first race makes them feel a little braver here. Will that backfire on anybody and lead to some DNFs? Certainly Blue Moon is feeling comfortable out in front. Bits of the wall coming off as Grasshopper collects it. Dragon's Egg in third, Reflector, Super Ball, Lollipop, Crazy Cat's Eye, and Ghost Plasma, former champion in there. Coming out of those splits there, you saw a couple of collisions with red number three. Blue Moon opts for the low line, Grasshopper follows. Reflector has gone up into third, but is in a battle with Dragon's Egg. They're very close together, and Super Ball, another champion, is also coming up there. Ghost Plasma is in the mix too. Three, four marble race. Super Ball gets by. Try to chase down Reflector into this collection basin. Very quick little chicane there. Marble spinning as they come out of it. Two pathways. Blue Moon hits the wall, and that's enough of an opening to let Grasshopper take the lead. Now they go split again. Top two, each taking a different line, but Grasshopper exits it well. Super Bowl has lost back into fourth place. Underneath one of the bridges they come. As we're looking farther back in the order. The Ghost Marble. Oh, the Ghost Marble is out! The Ghost Marble just climbed up the wall there, was getting into the mix. Across the line here, Grasshopper wins it over Blue Moon and Super Ball. Dragon's Egg just misses the podium. Lollipop, Reflector, Crazy Cat's Eye, and Blizzard Blaster farther down the order. But for Grasshopper, that is that marble's very first win in the Marble Rally. Third podium of their career. First took to this discipline back in 2018. So as they come off of that ramp, look at how close they all are, and so many bumping side to side, but you can tell a few were kind of timid. They did not want to blaze this trail for fear that there could be some difficulties farther down the course. Hey, hey, first A-League season where every marble finished race one. Sorry, Ghost Marble, you do not count. Congratulations to our podium finishers, Grasshopper Blue Moon and Super Ball. We know that's a familiar position for Super Ball, Blue Moon, first podium ever. Will this be the first of many? Will your favorite marbles make it onto the podium or perhaps challenge for a championship? You're going to have to stay with us for this season that's going to hold a lot of twists and turns. Click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of